This is the cabbage I just harvested for my lunch. The variety is called Gilson. This is the mixed gang of veggies. Coriander on the left side, mint on the right side at the bottom, tomatoes, different varieties, and chilies, two different varieties, and some carrots. This is all for the dinner today. This is the summer variety of pak chai. Mm. These are the beetroots. The yellow color ones are called boldar and the purple color ones are uh, called uh, perfect three variety. I just harvested for lunch today. These are different varieties of tomatoes. You can see this is uh, Roma Italian variety. These are ox heart Italian variety and these are Indian tomatoes. Two different varieties of kale. On the right hand side green color that's called dwarf curly green and on the left side this is called scarlet. These are my first harvest of cucumbers. These cucumbers are grown outdoor not indoor. Indoor cucumbers I would have harvested maybe end of May but these are outdoor cucumbers due to weather they just came to harvest now. These are the salad leaves I have harvested for my lunch. From the left, these are Logan berries. Some people they call uh, tay berries. And these are two varieties of gooseberries. The green and dark purple. And this one variety of blueberries, the blue one. And these are red currants. And this is another variety of blueberries. And this is the pink blueberries. So we are going to freeze them. We haven't done that so far. First time I'm freezing the fruits. Many people said you can use them in a smoothies, etc. That's what we will be doing this year. These are the nectarine fruit. They're very, very sweet. This is the very first squash I'm harvesting. The variety is called Zephyr. It's gone too big, but uh, I have to harvest it, otherwise the other fruit won't get the energy. All the energy will be sent to this fruit to make it further bigger. That's why I harvested. These are my first early and second early potatoes. From the left, that's Charlotte and this is Kestrel and this is Casablanca. Look at the size of the potato. They are uh, bigger than jacket potatoes. Look at this. Beautiful. They are very clean as well because this is the horse manure, rotten horse manure. It was till the top until here. Look almost one feet or at least 10 inches gone down. I never watered my potatoes, only the rain water whenever it comes. That's why it's very clean. If you water them, you will get scab. So I don't water them. This is the chiraku. It tastes very good with uh, red lentils or thur dal 
amazing taste it's easy to grow and uh, only one hour it doesn't regrow unless you only takes the top bit of the plant and the bottom bit if there are any side shoots it can regrow otherwise it doesn't this is what i just harvested and generally you can stir fry or you can cook with the lentils and also you can mix with uh, when you making omelet and you can also tender leaves you can put it in salads as well this is indian green amaranthus and i'm harvesting this today i started here it will come back if the weather is good and we can eat the stems as well it's very tasty this is a bangladeshi pointed goat this tastes really nice when you stir fry it or a normal fry with a bit of uh, olive oil and uh, cumin seeds and jeera seeds so far by mid of august i managed to harvest four bottle goats they are in decent and good size and because of the weather we don't know how many are they going to come up otherwise generally by this time there should be loads of bottle goats around 30 40 but uh, due to the weather so far only four i could harvest let's see how many are they going to come up later